an elusive, shape-shifting, fish was recently spotted off the coast of California in a rare sighting. On August 6, the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, Imbari, tweeted a video of a whalefish. A whalefish was spotted last week with ROV Doc Ricketts, the research institute tweeted. This whalefish, order C. Tomimiforms, was encountered by Stephen Haddock's team on their RV Western Flyer Expedition 2013 meters deep offshore of Monterey Bay. The video shows a bright orange fish swimming in the dark depths of the ocean. One Twitter commenter wanted to know, A. Re they actually bright orange like that or is it just the lighting? Imbari responded, they really are that color. In a follow-up tweet, Imbari added that the deep-sea fish has only been spotted by the Institute 18 times over the last 34 years. Whalefish have rarely been seen alive in the deep, so many mysteries remain regarding these remarkable fish, they said. With each deep-sea dive, we uncover more mysteries and solve others. A mystery, indeed. In 2010, the Smithsonian reported the whalefish was first discovered in 1895. As one might have guessed, scientists named their newest specimen after its whale-like appearance. But the animal has three different forms, tape tails, big nose fish and whalefish. And because its three forms all look incredibly different from one another, scientists long believed that each form belonged to a different zoological family altogether. In 1956, scientists discovered the tape tail, named after its long, streamer-like tail. The creature had a large upturned mouth, and unlike the whalefish, the tape tail lived near the ocean's surface. Scientists collected 120 tape tail samples, but upon further research, found that all the samples were larvae. Naturally, scientists wanted to know where they could find the creature's adult form. A decade later, scientists added big nose fish to the official list of deep sea creatures, however, all 65 specimens collected were male. Like the whalefish, this creature could be found in the depths of the ocean. The aptly named fish has an unusual nose-like bulge on its snout with large organs for smelling, said the institute, and its jaw can't move. Smithsonian also reported that in 1989, scientists began re-evaluating the whalefish. An Australian scientist studied all the whalefish specimens collected so far, a total of over 500 from all over the world, the institute said in their 2010 article. Every adult was a female. Where were the males? It wasn't until 2009 that scientists confirmed that all three fish were actually the same species. The tape tail is, of course, a whalefish's juvenile form. As they mature, the larvae undergo a dramatic transformation process into either a big nose or a female whalefish, completely remodeling their skulls and organs in order to prepare for their new lives, reported National Geographic. Both big-nose fish and whalefish have very different diets and lifestyles, and in fact, a 